Good evening and welcome back to the first of our televised presidential debates. Me, your host, Michael Debate. Joining me in the studio today are our three presidential candidates, businessman and entrepreneur Julius Landlord, former Eurovision contestant turned conspiracy theorist Bridgie Spears, and our current incumbent president, Pontius Balloon. But what is an election and do they cause warts? Now, before the break, we heard a beautiful and impassioned speech by our current president, Pontius Balloon. So now I'm going to give a chance to the other candidates to make their case to the Irish people. I'm going to start with you, Bridgie and Spears. Why did you decide to contest the presidency? Good evening, and thank you to everyone I have met on what has already been an incredible journey to becoming president of this great country. Like many people, I am tired of my opinions being ignored in favour of traditional science, foisted upon the Irish people by the leftist homosexual elite. I am running with what has been dubbed the pee in the balls mandate, a push for alternative biological curriculums to be taught in schools, and an acceptance and respect for the belief that urine is in fact stored in the testicles and not the bladder. Thank you very much for Julius Spears. I'm now going to go to Julius Landlord. Thank you, Michael. Now, a lot of people know that I'm a very successful man, but what they might not know is that I've also got a lot of money and drive many cars. I've evicted thousands of people from their homes and I've fathered many, countless, illegitimate children. Now, what I found out that anyone could run for the Irish presidency, I got here as soon as I could because I am a man who loves offices. I own many offices, I've worked out of many offices, and I want this office. And if people pledge me their vote, I can pledge that I will give everyone in Ireland at least two euros. Okay, very strong case is being made by both of our candidates. I'm going to go to you first, uh, Julius. What do you say to people who believe that you aren't in touch with a common man? I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that at least, compared to my other two rivals, I am a man. That's unfair. That is a disgraceful thing to say. I might not be a man, but I understand the pain men go through every day as their testicles fill with urine. Regine, I can't even begin to stress enough how much that's not accurate. Oh, it sounds to me like someone's testicles are filling with urine right My now. My testicles are bone dry, Brigine, and I think we need to stick to the facts here. I'm going to go to the balloon now. Balloon, Look, Michael, do you... Somebody needs to ask the tough questions here, and if you're not going to, then I will. Is this balloon going to survive another seven years in office? That, that is, is a, dis a That's a disgraceful it's question. It's not it's it's The average See, lifespan just... of a birthday party balloon is anywhere between two and three weeks. This balloon has been alive for decades. Julius Landlord, Julius, Julius Landlord, that sounds to me like a veil threat against it's, our incumbent it president, it's, our beloved it, balloon. It, it, it is by no means a threat, and I love the balloon more than anyone. It doesn't sound like, like that. Like 77 balloon. is old for a human, let alone a balloon, which should have... age should not matter, and neither should man. Nobody is talking about your age, you big pee in the balls weirdo. That's everyone, not. everyone is talking about me. I'm, I'm going to go to the balloon now. Balloon, you've had a very successful first term in office, but one thing that has come up time and again are your expenses. How do you justify €4 million euro on decorative string, €3 million euro on helium gas when there are people on hospital trolleys, when there are homeless people? <coughs> You're very welcome back to the presidential debate. The president is in a stable yet critical condition in Blomont Hospital, and the news channel will provide you with updates on his welfare in due course. Following the shocking events of tonight, we will not be continuing with the, the debate, but we will be screening, earlier than scheduled, the Academy Award-winning film by Bob Peterson. Up. Stay tuned after this.